how to push or bend O's. Let's do this. My name is Vape Chilla, your average Pinoy vape reviewer, and today I'll be teaching you how to push or bend O's. Now it's roughly been four months since my last trick tutorial, and I'm really sorry about that. I just had all these review offers coming in, and I was finding it really hard to make a trick tutorial while I had deadlines for these reviews. And the other main reason is, I can't teach you guys any more new tricks in this space that I have. From where I'm sitting right now to the camera, it's about an arm's length. So I can't really do a jellyfish within arm's length. So I had to find a new place to film. But the thing is, I don't want to teach you in my living room. I wanted to get that sort of like V-God look to it. Black background, and the O's are clearly visible. Luckily, recently, I have found a place. My best friend recently opened up a vape shop. It's called Owl Vape Lounge. Make sure to check it out. Link is down below. And so yeah, basically, I can now teach you whatever tricks you guys want. Anyhow, enough of the updates. Let's start this tutorial. Yes! Before we start this tutorial, I highly suggest that you learn how to blow O's. I've already made a video on that. Annotation should be up here, and link is in the description. First off, make sure that there is no air in the room that you are practicing in. That would make this really hard to learn. Step one, blow an O. Make sure it's a pretty fast O. You want them to look like this. Not like this. Speed is of the essence. Uh, I'm dead serious. You can bend an O more the faster your O is. Step two, choose which hand you're gonna push with. This sort of depends on which hand you vape with. What I do is I vape with my right and I push with my left. You can also vape with your right and push with your right, but I highly suggest using a tube mod for this. As you can see, a tube mod is easier to hold with one hand, unlike a big mod like this. Step 3. Your hand position. You can bend and push O's with spread fingers, but I highly suggest starting off like this. Also, your palm has to be flat, not curved. This ain't swimming. And finally, step 4. It is time to combine these two. Personally, I like to have my hand in this area, near your face basically. As a beginner, I could recommend putting it right here. Finally, step 5. Push your O. Now this part is what is going to take a lot of time and patience. Mostly because it's all about the timing. Right as you do an O, you're going to want to follow it right behind it. Something like this. You're going to want to be this far away from the O as you're following it. Now I can't tell you how fast to go with it. It all matters on how fast your O is. Let me show you guys in slow motion what I mean. So as you can see in this video, I position my hand next to my face, and then I get ready to blow an O. Right after I do the O, I catch up to it with my hand right behind the O. You'll know when you're pushing the O when the O actually goes quite a bit of distance. But that's pretty much all there is to pushing. There is no easy way to do it. You really have to learn the timing. One tip I can give, instead of doing cough, follow, you can start moving your hand a little before you cough. Something like cough and then you follow it. Another tip I have is to always keep your palm parallel to the O. You can't push an O if you're like this. And another important thing is surface area. I like to use my palm because that is the fattest area. It grants me more control over the O. After you've learned how to push and how to bend O's is pretty simple. Here's how to bend an O. If this is your O, for example, you want to go left, you're gonna wanna push it on the right side. If you want it to go down, you're gonna push on the upper side. But make sure to always keep parallel with the O. So pushing down, pushing up, to the left, and to the right. So pushing down, pushing up, to the left, and to the right. So let's do some practice with pushing O's. As you can see here, I'm pushing way too hard. I'm destroying the O. Easy way to fix this is to slow down. As you can see in this video, my O's are really weak. So even pushing it does nothing, even if I'm following at the perfect speed. The only way to fix this is to have a stronger cough, which would make your O's go faster. As for bending O's, the only problems you're gonna experience are touching the O and it breaks, or just not being close enough. Once you've successfully learned these two, you can add a bit of flair by bending an O with your back hand. As you can see in this clip, I'm basically applying the same concept as bending an O. Being more on the bottom will go up, and being more on the top will go down. So that's pretty much it for this trick tutorial. I always get comments saying you want more trick tutorials. So the next tutorial I'm gonna put out is the jellyfish. For the jellyfish tutorial, let's say 100 likes, and I'll post it this week. Yeah, 100 likes only. I mean, I'm not big or anything.
So if you like this tutorial, make sure to subscribe down below to stay tuned for more videos in the future. If you have any more questions or comments about these tricks, make sure to comment down below and I will reply. I also have a Facebook page where I'm posting extra content, so make sure to visit that in the description below. Till next time.